In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through my new cleaning routine. I was always the kind of person who felt like I needed to do my entire house in one day and that was usually on Sundays and it led to me just really <laughs> dreading Sundays. I am splitting up my tasks into different cleaning tasks every single day throughout the week. So far, it's been a few weeks, I love doing this. Today is Tuesday. Today we have the bathrooms. So I am filming this entire next week. Mondays are not a cleaning day for me. I clean bathrooms on Tuesday. I do dusting and cleaning the glass on Wednesday, floors on Thursday, sheets and laundry on Friday, and a kitchen clean on Sunday. This makes it so easy to stay on top of everything. My house has stayed probably the cleanest it's ever been. I also really like doing this because I think this is very manageable for having a family, which is something that we have not embarked on yet. But I do think about my mom, for example, who was a single mother, worked full time, and she cleaned her entire house every Thursday after work, and then she would order food in. And that is just so inspiring to me that you could be a single mom, busting your booty, working for a law firm, and you still have time to clean your own house and you make it a priority and I really look up to that and I want to start getting in the habit of keeping my house a lot more clean throughout the week and making it a part of my daily routine so that is kind of some background as to why I'm doing this so let's just get right into it we're going to go ahead and clean the bathrooms today okay so we're in my bathroom this is the master bath but I just wanted to walk you through some cleansers that I use on repeat I really prefer clean cleansers like not super toxic so these are two of my favorites i have this ever spring it's the antibacterial one this one is really really good for bathroom because it is antibacterial and then i also have the same thing pretty much but it's not just for bathroom it's another antibacterial one um lavender scent this is a really good one too but i do switch off because as much as i love my non-toxic cleansers i'm sorry but there's just nothing like this like this just, this is just so good. I was raised on Clorox. It's probably why I have so many hormone disorders, but it works really good. So I use this um, in moderation. I would say I switch off between like my non-toxic cleansers and my Clorox, probably like every three weeks I use Clorox. And then I do love this for the toilet bowl. My toilet bowls don't get super dirty, I guess because I do clean them every single week at least, but I love the way this smells. It is the clinging gel. I never really used to use this, but lately I've been using it and I just feel like it just makes things really sparkly and it's fun to do it, I guess. Just spray it around there and watch it fall down. So obviously I always wear gloves because I'm on my natural nail journey, so we're protecting our nails and our hands, especially when you're using Clorox. Another tip is to have multiple cleaning rags. I do not like to use a toilet cleaning rag for any other counters, even though it's Clorox. I just feel like that's gross. So I use one rag per toilet. Pro tip, wash your shower whenever you are taking a shower. So tonight when I take a shower, I'm actually gonna clean it. I'm gonna spray it down and then I will wipe it down during my shower tonight. Conversation more than that. 
Okay, bathrooms are done and I just ruined my favorite shirt. <laughs> that is from Bleach. It literally takes me like less than an hour to do three bathrooms really well, so. Today is Wednesday and today on our calendar is dusting and cleaning the glass. For dusting, I literally just use this little dusting mitt. It's from a brand called Norwex. My mom went to one of their parties like 10, 15 years ago and got me this glove and I still have it to this day and it's the best. But I just go around the house and dust off every surface. And then I also have a lot of glass tables and my mirrors. I did the bathroom mirrors yesterday as part of the bathroom cleaning, but all the other mirrors in the house, I will wipe down with my glass cleaning cloth. So let's go ahead and get that done. cross off yesterday's but this is the most satisfying part I honestly look forward to this like every single day so I can officially cross this off happy Thursday aka happy floor day today is the day that we vacuum and clean the floors in the house and I will say I love that floor day is about two days after bathroom day because there's already hair on my bathroom floors. I do vacuum my kitchen and our bathroom. I would say my kitchen definitely every single day and like the entryway, but the day that I do every single floor in the house and really clean them with the cleaning mop is Thursdays. So we're gonna get to that today. I have a cup of coffee I've been sipping on and I am listening to Mel Robbins' podcast. Today I'm listening to the Let Them Theory. Just started it, but it seems like a really good one. So I think my favorite thing to do is while I'm doing floors or cleaning to have a podcast in because it just helps you focus on something and the time just flies by. This is just from upstairs and the stairs. Just from a week. I literally just did this a week ago. And we don't even have a dog that sheds that much. We have a Pomeranian. He does not shed that much. Disgusting. Also, my mom told me that I vacuum too fast. So I've been trying to vacuum a lot slower. And I think that's made a huge difference in how much my Dyson's able to pick up. Friday. Please ignore my appearance. I literally rolled out of bed, put some clothes on, and have been doing stuff around the house ever since, and then I had to start working. Long story short, I still haven't gone to the gym, but I do plan on going to the gym this afternoon, so I'm just like, whatever about how I look. Today is laundry and change the sheets day. So I already changed my sheets. I have like 
three pair of king sheets that I rotate between. So I take a pair off, I just put a new pair on, and then I wash and dry the old pair right away and put them up. But it's also a laundry day. So I will show you my super fun Amazon hamper that I bought like two years ago. I love this thing. I have like labeled each basket different types of clothes that need to be washed separately. And so on laundry day, it's super easy. Obviously I do wash clothes more than just once a week, but today is the day that I get all of those little laundry baskets emptied and start fresh. I will say it's just me and my husband. And even though we both are active all the time, these little baskets hold like a week's worth of clothes when I split it up this way. And so I really don't even need to do laundry more than once a week since it's just the two of us but I do wash other things um, throughout the week. So here is my laundry basket. It fits perfectly in our closet and that's where we keep all of our laundry. It's on rollers, so I'll just roll it out in the hallway while I'm doing this. But I have four separate little compartments and I have labeled them. So I made these little labels and one's broken, but I made them and self-laminated them with packing tape. <laughs> but it says towels, colors, whites, and athletic. Um, and I usually do these different loads. So you can see this is after a week. Each one of them is pretty full. Um, and you can just take one out and take it with you to the laundry room. But because it's laundry day, I'm just gonna take this whole thing out into the hallway. <laughs> back looking even grungier than I did this morning <laughs> but last load of laundry is in the dryer so I did six loads of laundry today that's the only downfall with doing your laundry like once a week is it is an entire day thing like I said I still will do some other loads during the week if I need to but I got all six done my thing is though like I just want to make sure that that laundry basket hamper system is completely empty by the end of the day I already do have another outfit for my husband in the dirty clothes already, but that's okay. I did my silk pillowcases, which have to be done separate, and then I did my sheets. I did whites, colors, towels, and athletic wear, because that's on like delicate and it gets hung dried. So anyways, it's all done. So now I can cross it off my list. And tomorrow, I don't have to do anything around the house. I just do my regular daily declutter and cleaning off kitchen counters and vacuuming the kitchen floor kind of thing. And I will see you Sunday for the last day of my cleaning week. I feel like this vlog has been just a compilation of me looking the absolute worst I could possibly look and filming myself. I'm still working on finishing up my video from Friday, so I haven't crossed that off yet. But today we have to clean the kitchen. The kitchen's probably the easiest day of the week because I clean the kitchen every single day, no matter what. I'm always wiping down the counters after I eat, cleaning off the oven. So it just depends on what I want to get done. Like last week, I cleaned out the fridge and the freezer during this clean and we did like a super clean of the baseboards and the cabinets. But I wanna make sure that every week I am pulling everything off the kitchen counter and cleaning behind it and wiping down the backsplash really well. I also wanna make sure that I am cleaning out my microwave every week and scrubbing my sink and our disposal and a little rubber thing that sits in your disposal. If you have one of those, those get absolutely disgusting. So I've always cleaned those once a week and I also run them through my dishwasher too sometimes. That's a really good tip. So anyways, we're just gonna go ahead and clean the kitchen. Here's the kitchen. Here is our order of business. So first I have to put away our clean dishes. I'm gonna go ahead and run our dishwasher. Next, I'm going to clean the sink 
Then I'm going to clean our cabinets, backsplash, and counters. I did clean our oven last week, so it's pretty spotless, but this is what needs to be cleaned. The stove top, so like this is something burnt on there. Written down the words to say It is time I've been waiting five days To explain How you make me feel inside Baby Got it all figured out Wanna do this right There's no doubt in my mind Baby, you're the one And tonight I am going all the way mm, The way you touch my hand It all goes away The things I planned The things I Ooh, thought it was in my pants, now I'm all kind of 